Good morning, you guys. It is April 3rd, Wednesday, and I am about to go do a spin class on my Hilton bike, but I wanted to just kind of show you little decorations and stuff that we got um, for the house. So let me just turn off my music because my last video got blocked due to music. So I'm just gonna turn this down really quick and I'm gonna flip the screen and show you my living room and then my little patio outside that we did. I'm so excited. So we hung up a bunch of stuff. Usually, <clears throat> if you remember, if you even, you know, I don't know if you've paid attention, but these walls were just bare. And I was like not really sure what I wanted to do with them because it's such a large wall. So I finally found the perfect thing. So we started with the plants here. I got this stuff from Target and like the Joanna Gaines section. I love Chip and Joanna Gaines from Fixer Upper on HGTV. So we have this plant and then I got a little tiny plant that I just kind of put my own little flowers and stuff in just to bring some more color into the room. And then after we got this and established this in the corner, like I just do it in pieces, so loved that. And then we went, I went on overstock.com. I'm obsessed with overstock. And I got this amazing, I thought this painting would be perfect for this wall because it's large and it matches all the blue in the room. And then I wanted to get some mirrors because it kind of just makes the room look bigger even though we do have a pretty decent living room. We have a really good sized living room, but um, we don't have a huge house. I love our little home, but I just wanted to open it up, make it look bigger. So I put two gold plated uh, mirrors on each side, which matches all of the gold hardware on our mirrors or on our um, lamps and all of the hardware that we have, just little accessories all over the house. So I think this wall looks amazing. And then I got these beautiful little shelves from Overstock as well to, um, the lighting is kind of bad, so <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think you have seen, you get the idea. Um, I should bring my ring light in here, but these little shelves as well were from Overstock. There's a big one up top and then a smaller one and then I just put little succulents there. And then um, this, oh my gosh, I honestly don't remember where I got this. It's so, it's pretty old from when we first got married. I got it. Um, I don't remember, probably home goods, I would have to say, to be completely honest. And my boss actually, when I worked at a desk job, she got me this. And then one of my friends made this for me, home sweet home. Um, it's a chalkboard, so I actually have to buy chalk. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna just like write something cute on there. Um, and then this, I mean that, I think I showed you guys this. This is from Home Goods, little S, and the little plants. And this is from Pier One. This is old, but I've never even given you, I've never given you guys a house tour. Um, but then this just came in the mail yesterday. I we have so many blankets because I keep the house freezing, and I just hated how it looked that's just like over all of our furniture so I got this little rustic um, ladder to hold our blankets so it looks really nice this clock is from Pier 1 um, and my for all my furniture furniture is from Ashley furniture if you guys didn't know the rug is from um, Overstock Papa San and pillows is from Pier 1 so that's that and then our beautiful outdoor patio Florida room that we just finished. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. So Luna's gonna try to come out, but I'm actually gonna go for a walk. So she's gonna have to stay there. Look at all the crap from their noses. Um, but so um, this is, we're gonna keep this little table here and we're actually gonna make like a little outdoor bar area, I think. Um, just a place to put food and drinks if we ever have company over or if Brian and I just wanna hang out here. Um, I got some flowers here and some herbs. So I have basil here that I just potted. I Brian bought me this beautiful orchid. And then I have a little, um, I got this from, I think it was Trader Joe's, um, a little, like, um, what is it called? Um, the lucky thing? I forget, I can't think right now, but you know, the luck, what, four leaf clover, three leaf clover. Um, and then 
Okay, so Big Lots was having a huge sale on patio furniture, so we got this whole patio set for $4.99. Um, this table opens up for storage, and then we went to Home Depot and we got these beautiful plants. I wanted to make it really just like, like a little oasis out here. Um, and then we have a TV out here for just when we want to chill because in the morning and at nighttime it's so beautiful out. So I actually eat my breakfast out here. Um, it's pretty dark when I wake up in the morning so I don't start my day out here but I want to eventually um, if it starts to get lighter earlier. But at nighttime we kind of just chill out here. It's so nice. And then my workout area. So the room is kind of split in half and I have my Peloton bike which I am going to be getting on shortly. I'm just going to go take a brief little walk. I just had a little hard boiled egg and some watermelon so I'm just gonna like take like a five minute walk up and down just to kind of warm up my legs for the bike but I love this bike and then my little workout area when I do at home workouts I was actually going to do a shoulder workout today but I am so sore I'm kind of just gonna listen to my body and just chill with some cardio so in terms of, um, I'll just talk really quick while I'm going for a walk outside. I have this beautiful little path outside. Um, in terms of what I'm doing to kind of like just prepare for Jamaica, I clearly, as you know, I don't need to lose any weight. That's the last thing I need because I'm at my show weight. I'm a pound away from what I weighed on stage. I actually think, to be completely honest with you, I think I was actually 107 on my actual show day. Um, but I, and I, but I, but the day before my show, I was, I was like 106 or 107. So I'm at my stage weight. And so that's not healthy to live at your stage weight. And that's what I'm doing. And, um, it was really good actually that I did get on the scale because I really noticed that, wow, I am a lot leaner than I thought. Um, it's crazy. And that could be a huge reason why I'm not getting my period. So, um, I am, today's a rest day for lifting. I'm just gonna do like a super low impact spin class just to, I like to move. Um, so I'm not doing it for weight loss or anything like that. I'm doing it just because it puts me in a great mood. I love being active and healthy. Um, I just like starting my day that way. So I'm gonna do a low impact spin class. And I decided I don't want to come up with macros to hit. I don't want to have a strict number to live by. So, because I'm an all or nothing person, um, I'm, I take this stuff very seriously so the last thing I want is to start to develop a poor relationship with food all over again and have that obsession and everything like that um, because I have been there done that and I'm at such a good space place in my life with intuitive eating um, I just need to get the calories up there and eat more calorie dense food. I just want to fill you in on my process for this because I do want to do this intuitively. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to still listen to my body. I'm not going to force feed myself because that is something with tracking macros. Because I have such a fast metabolism, I can eat a lot of food and I don't want to be forcing myself to eat because I do go out to eat as well. You guys see on my Instagram, like me and Brian, we eat good when we go out to eat and we eat a lot, that's like my refeed and I don't wanna take that away. I've worked hard to get to the, to the place that I am now and being able to go out to eat and enjoy those things. So I am just going to continue doing what I'm doing during the week but just choose more high calorie options, have more avocado, add more oil, like coconut oil to my meals. Um, Maybe, like have more higher like carb foods like you know sweet potato and not so much butternut squash that kind of thing so I am just going to try to choose better options higher calorie options for my meals and um, maybe like add an, a, an extra snack in during the day that is higher in fat something like a kind bar or avocado toast or something like that something with fat and then um, just continue to have my regular date nights where we eat really good food and a lot of it um, and that's my plan so I am gonna get going because I don't want to rant and talk this whole video but I did want to update you on the approach that I am taking for this little thing I'm doing for Jamaica just for Jamaica that's the only thing I can think of so if you're watching this if you DM'd me and you and you said just for Jamaica then I'm going with it because I don't need to lose weight but I'm also not doing like a strict I don't have a strict plan um, just kind of continuing to live but being smarter with my food options and then I think every now and then I'll, I'll put some food in my in my fitness pal to see where my calories are that's what I did yesterday 
Maybe I'll do it again today for you to kind of show you how much I ate today and what I ate. So I'm just gonna do a full day of eating, show you really quick the meals that I choose, um, and I will see you after my spin class for my first official meal of the day. I don't know what it's gonna be. I know that I'm having steak tonight, so steak is higher in fat, obviously, because I need, I have steak once a week, every week I have it once, usually it's on Wednesday. I choose to have steak on my rest days from lifting because I have higher carbs on my lifting day and I kind of lower the carbs a little bit when I am not lifting. Um, I have higher fat on, on these days where I just do like a quick little spin class. So um, I was thinking avocado toast for breakfast, but I am having steak um, tonight, which is gonna be around like in the 20 grams of fat area um, so we'll see what I come up with for breakfast I will see you in a YouTube second All right here we have my post spin class breakfast kind of fucked up a little bit because we ran out of egg whites so uh, I tracked it after the fact for you guys so this is 213 calories I have four ounces of egg whites and then I have one hard-boiled egg white because I needed more protein I have 10 grams of sheep's milk feta and this is what I'm, is in this mash. So it's feta cheese, two and a half ounces of mushrooms, two ounces of roasted red peppers, and then I have a gluten-free slice of bread, 213 calories, 22 carbs, five fat, 21 protein, four fiber. So I'm gonna eat this before it gets cold. Hey guys, so it's 11.30, um, about two hours since I've eaten breakfast, and just wanted to update you really quick. I got a Starbucks. I'm gonna turn down my music in a second. Um, I got a Starbucks and I'm obsessed with this drink right now, so I had to tell you. Let me turn this down, hold on. Okay, so I wanna tell you about my Starbucks drink because it is so, so good. The first time I'm actually having this exact one, um, I usually get it a little bit different. So this is a grande blonde Americano with steamed almond milk and one pump of sugar-free cinnamon dolce. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. And then I just added a little bit of cinnamon and then some of my stevia, my stevia from Trader Joe's that I bring everywhere with me. But I went to Aldi, I just went grocery shopping and my mom has been trying to convince me to go to Aldi and I'm always like, yeah, uh, whatever. And I never go and now I'm hooked. Um, I just, I just wanna show you what I got for $30, okay? I have to. So, organic bananas. Organic cage-free large brown eggs. This is all $30. I think it was like 32 or 34. Um, tomatoes, just great tomatoes. I love tomatoes and I'm thinking I'm gonna have a salad tonight. So, cause I'm gonna have steak. And so I got some iceberg, not like iceberg. This is romaine lettuce, three romaine lettuce hearts. I got two avocados. 47 cents, I think. What? What? Crazy. Um, A1, this is their brand or something, but A1 steak sauce, we love that. I um, cook my mushrooms in A1 sauce, actually, and we top the steak with it, it's so good. Um, which I'll show you tonight. But I got chili lime cashews because I gotta up my fat, so this will be a great little handful of a snack, especially when I'm on phone calls with my clients. Um, I got egg whites, this is the biggest one they had, so I just got this. And I got organic chicken breast, how many? Um, two and a half, a little over two and a half pounds of chicken breast, yes. And then I got three, and a quarter pounds of all natural chicken thighs for Brian. I don't like chicken thighs. I don't really like dark meat that much. He does, so I got this for him, three and a quarter pound, and that's it from Aldi for $30. Actually, this is the receipt. $38.04 for this stuff, so I just had to show you. And then I went to Publix because I just had to get a couple things. Hard boiled eggs, I'm going through an obsession right now. It's so weird. I fucking love hard boiled eggs. I don't know why. Um, I got two bottles of this water, this alkaline mineral water. I got um, all natural strip steak because the ones at Aldi, mm, I just didn't like what they looked like and I wanted, I wanted natural organic, so grass fed. So I got some steak, 
I mean, $15 for a pound. <laughs> So fuck, but you know, whatever it's, you pay for quality. Um, I got some gluten-free granola and gluten-free oatmeal because I could not find gluten-free oatmeal at Aldi and the gluten-free granola at Aldi was just like super high calorie and I knew I could do better. So ja I got one, two, three, four things plus two water bottles at Publix. And I spent, just so you know the difference, I spent, I spent $30.19 at Publix for four things versus $38 at Aldi for like the bulk of my groceries. Granted, yes, I mean, ha the half of the cost was from the steak, which I will pay for good quality meat, but so like, for the other, for this, egg whites, hard boiled egg whites, granola, and these water bottles were uh, buy two for three dollars. So for this, it was 15 bucks. Go to Aldi, check it out. I just had to show you guys that because if you're looking to save money and I'm just always like, I'm doing very well in my business right now and like I could splurge but I could go to Whole Foods, I could go to Fresh Market, I could just do all of my grocery shopping at Publix, but I wanna be a millionaire one day. And you don't become a millionaire by spending all your money, so <laughs> go to Aldi, check it out, it's amazing. So I am going to sip on my latte. I was feeling a little bit hungry at Publix because I was walking through the bakery and it smelled really good. But as soon as I had this and I drank um, almost all of my other water bottle, wherever it is. Oh, and at Aldi, I got a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six, and a nine, 12, a pack of um, 12 rolls of toilet paper included in all this. So there you go. Um, so I have a call with a client in about an hour. So um, if I get hungry, I'll just show you what I eat. So I'm gonna go get some work done, sip on my delicious latte, and I will see you guys for either a snack or lunch. Okay, so I'm actually recording this on my iPhone and I got a new iPhone so it actually looks like really good quality. Hopefully it uh, shows up this way on YouTube, but my um, memory card is in my computer right now. So this is my lunch. So it's kind of like random, but um, I needed to use this. The sell-by date is today, so I needed to eat this. I love this stuff. I just used the whole thing um, and there is six grams of fat four carbs and 14 grams of protein for this whole thing. It's only uh, 60 calories, so 120 calories for this whole thing, really awesome. I needed to use up my butternut squash, so I have three and a half ounces of that. I have one half of an avocado, just a whole half, and then some cherry tomatoes. And on this, on the egg white salad, I ran out of my favorite little curry seasoning, so I just picked this up at Whole Foods. I love curry powder, so I sprinkled it on the egg white salad and I added some salt, and then I also sprinkled a little bit of the curry powder on the butternut squash, and then everything but the bagel seasoning on the avocado, and oh shit, I'm on my phone, so I can't tell you what the macros are, so I'm just gonna put them on the bottom of the screen. Uh, yeah, shit, I can't remember, I think it was, maybe 250-ish calories, can't really remember, but you guys, comment below if you have a hack for saving your avocado. Like this, I used last night, and it's so brown, so I, I mean, I could just like scrape it off and use it, but I had to open up a whole new avocado just to use half, and I don't like wasting, so comment below if you have any hacks for me. I could use it, so I'm gonna eat this. Really good volume for like 250 calories. So this will definitely keep me full. It's a lot of food here, so I'm excited. Okay, so I just had my meal and I'm actually still hungry. Um, it was pretty low carb, but I wanted the fats to be up there because I didn't have fats this morning for breakfast. So, but I'm gonna make my collagen peptides and my greens biome because the meal that I just had was pretty low in protein. So I am gonna just show you really quick what I do, I got water, I have this every single day. Um, I just do one scoop of the biome and I do track this. If you're tracking macros, you have to track everything with calories, hello, even if it's a drink. 
So if you have soda, you attract the soda, so you gotta track your greens as well. And then one scoop of the collagen peptides. I, I also track this because it is 18 grams of grass-fed protein, and I need the protein right now because my meal was pretty low in protein. I think it was only 16 grams of protein total. And then what I do is I actually blend it with an immersion blender. But I stir it with a fork first. And when you blend it, it just, uh, it comes kind of foamy and nice and like a little bit thicker and it just really breaks up all of the powder. water to this. I guess I don't need to add more water. I usually add more water though, just to make it like a bigger drink. And just cause I feel like it, I do this a couple times a day. I've hidden these from Brian. He has no idea that they're in the freezer. They've been all mine and that never happens. <clears throat> they are just chocolate covered bananas. Um, really awesome size. A serving size is four, and I have never had four in one serving. I usually just have either one or, or two. Um, for four pieces, it's 100 calories, six fat, 13 carb, one protein. So I'm gonna have one of these. They're so fucking good, you guys. I got them from Fresh Market. Oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. Like the video if you dance and hum a little song when you eat something really good. Mm. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna go for a little walk just to kind of break up my day and then get to work. And then my next meal is gonna be something carbs. I mean carbs. I have an apple and I've been eyeing that baby all day. So probably gonna be an apple to be honest with some more protein because I gotta get my protein up there. Okay, I have one apple. I didn't weigh it out. I just didn't feel like it. So, and I didn't even search in my fitness pal. I don't really care that much. I'll put it in an apple. But I feel like I've been just eating all day. This is why I would rather eat like, just like little snacks all randomly when I get hungry. But I work from home and the kitchen's right there. So this works for me. So I'm gonna snack on this apple. And I just got a 40% off gift card to Fashion Nova and, or 40% off discount code in my email. So I'm just, you know, gonna do some shopping maybe. Okay, dinner is served. So this doesn't look like much and the lighting is crappy, so I'm sorry, but I have a salad here, just romaine lettuce and tomato with some tzatziki ranch dressing. The um, brand is Opa. And then I have sirloin steak under here. And then I have mushrooms that I just sauteed with some A1 sauce. And then I have a roasted Brussels sprouts. I did not weigh anything. I have a webinar to go do really soon, so I have to eat this really quick, but yeah, that's it, that's dinner. Bye. Hello, it is 9.17 p.m. I just got done with my webinar. It was so good. I love doing webinars. I just love talking and connecting with you guys. <sighs> so um, I am gonna eat a piece of chocolate. So I have to show you, right? Cause it's a full day of eating. Um, I ate dinner at like seven-ish and I'm just like a little hungry, but it's probably just because this is a habit of mine. Um, I did not show you today after my apple, I had a piece of gluten-free toast right before two client calls. So I didn't show you that because I had to jump on a call. So I had a piece of toast, didn't show you. Um, then I had my dinner, which was a salad, Brussels sprouts, and steak. I didn't have potato. Um, I just kept it to, because I had the bread and I had the apple and whatever. Like I just didn't, I just didn't, okay? I just didn't, it's fine. <laughs> Um, I feel like I have to like explain myself, but I am gonna have two of these little triangles. They are filled with caramel. They are from Trader Joe's. And for two pieces, it is 60 calories, four and a half fat, seven carb, and that's about it. So I'm gonna eat this, they're delicious. This is, I either have like one or two of these a night, or I have a Revival by Jack Cookie. I have two boxes. <laughs> 
so I'll probably have one of those tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching my full day of eating. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to thank you. So please, if you wanna continue to see full days of eating, please like the video. I didn't track my dinner. I didn't track my bread. I'm not gonna track this, so I don't really know where I'm at, but my fat was up there. I did good today with my fat. Probably, I would say, in like the high 60s. So yeah, I'm doing good. My carbs were low, but my fats were high. I didn't lift, so, and I was sitting all day. So I'm gonna eat this, take my makeup off, go to bed, because I go to bed. I'm out by 10.30, 10, 10 o'clock usually. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.